Welcome back to another video. Today is Saturday for me. This video, actually the lighting's terrible. This video is actually probably gonna be over a couple days because I'm gonna be working on a basement project. So I'm gonna tell you all about that and show you all the things that I got. But right now it's Saturday, we're about to head out. We're gonna go eat some lunch and go pick up a few things. So I'm just gonna leave my camera here, but when we get back, I wanted to just open the video and say hey, and when we get back, I will show you what we picked up and I will explain to you the project that's coming up that you probably saw by the thumbnail that we're going to be working down in the basement in my craft room. I'm going to be redoing it, reorganizing it, um, making it more functional for what I need now. So it's nasty outside. It's supposed to clear up. It's been rainy all morning, but it's supposed to be sunny this afternoon. So I'm hoping, but like I said, this video is probably going to go over a couple days because I just don't know how long this project is going to take, but I'm hoping it two to three days at the most. All right, it's after five o'clock and I am just now getting home. I actually didn't even go to everywhere I needed to go. It ended up being, everything just took longer. We actually had to be with Madison over at CarMax where she got her car yesterday. If you saw that blog, there was an issue with it. So we took it over there and she actually is in a rental now for a couple weeks. So we just had to get all that straightened out. CarMax is always so good though. They've always been so good to us. You know if you have an issue so um then we you know got lunch come on kitty kitty we got lunch and ran all the errands and then marion and jackson okay sorry claire is so stubborn she won't come in uh marion and jackson took off they went out to the shooting range and i ran to walmart got a few things so i'm gonna show you what i got and then i need i don't know if i'm gonna even start on the project tonight i might just wait till tomorrow i'm just really tired and like i said it's after five o'clock I mean, we ate lunch at two, so I'm not worried about making dinner yet, but I need to start working downstairs, so um, I might just make dinner and we might watch a movie. I'm gonna show you what I got. I'm so tired, <laughs> I'm so tired. Driving back, I was like, I could totally go to sleep right now with the sun shining on me. But I'm um, gonna show you what I got, then I'm gonna try to be productive this evening. So I got another cat box. I bought, this is my third cat box in like, I call them cat box, litter box, in like two weeks because they, I just didn't like the ones I got. So I finally, I couldn't find the one that I had, which was kind of like a high back, high side and then it went down in the front. And there's lots of reasons I like that one better than one of these, but um, I've never had one of these and I'm gonna try it. I don't prefer these. These are the kinds with the lid on them because I like to be able to just, whenever I walk by, just, grab my scoop and scoop it out and clean it like constantly so I don't want to I feel like if it's covered I'm not going to know it and re be reminded constantly I don't know it's just me but I went ahead and went with one of these also when I open my dryer it'll hit it so I don't know <laughs> I don't want to have to go buy a fourth one but I've yeah I tried one from from Ross and it was rounded I hated it and then I tried one the one I have now that's like so small so hopefully this will be a winner but I also got a new scoop for it. I got some baggies. Jackson needed some Carmex for his lips are so chapped. And then I got a thing of baby wipes just for Paisley when she's over here. I, I was looking for like the hard plastic, you know, bigger ones. Couldn't find it anywhere. So I just grabbed that. Got some ciabatta for Jackson's lunches. I got these stew meat. I might put these in the air fryer tonight and make these for dinner. I got some honey nuggets and curly fries for Jackson. Just easy dinner after soccer or something. Some more tomatoes and bananas and strawberries. And then I got this because I thought Mary and Jackson might like this for dessert tonight. I thought it would be a fun dessert. We watch a movie, maybe make that. I forgot milk and I forgot Italian dressing. I'm not sure what else I forgot, but I totally forgot to get those. 
Then also we went over to the kids consignment sale that I used to do. If you remember, I used to do it when Jackson was little all the time. We went over there just to look at like baby things and they had this, which ja uh, Paisley already has one of these at her house, but she doesn't have one at our house. And Jackson has one when he was a baby and this one was only five bucks and it's brand new and it's the pink one and we used it every single day that he was a baby and i know michael and danielle love the one that they have too so i um yeah it was like i saw it and i said we have to get that because it's so great when they take a nap it plays for five minutes and then it usually lulls them to sleep oliver do you see that <laughs> so we had to get one for our house and then jackson found this star wars monopoly for seven bucks he loves monopoly he loves any kind of different monopoly and then this is just a piece of wood that we got to finish project marion's working on in the basement okay i'm down in my basement so if you're new here if you just clicked on this video hi my name's erica <laughs> um i have a craft room in my basement and it is partially finished this side over here for those of you that have been around, you already know what the basement looks like, but over here is Marion's main cave slash office slash theater. It's really great. Big room. He loves it. He's not here right now, but yeah. Woo. Full of all his, that's where he works and, you know, relaxes. And it's really great. And then this side up here is my craft room, but you can see that it's completely overtaken by stuff right here. This was supposed to be the pass-through. So I have decided it's been I want to say two and a half years since almost since we redid this craft room and when I first did it I set it up as a craft room thinking that I was going to use all these different things and I didn't really know what was the best way for it to function and it has functioned really great but there's a lot of things in my craft room that I don't use so I am going to take some of that stuff out I'm going to kind of declutter a lot I hope and got some boxes I want to take some stuff to Goodwill and just get it out of the house because I just don't use it there's no sense in keeping it so I'm going to take you around the room and show you some of the things the changes that I'm going to be making to this room and like I said this is going to take several days but I'm going to get it done because this room is going to serve now as my craft room but that's going to be more condensed into one area ish or just condensed so I'm going to have my desk still which you see behind me but it's also going to be a place for storing baby items because our granddaughter is going to be, I'm going to be babysitting her some. So I asked Marion if you could build me a changing table because when I had children, when I had babies, I really loved the convenience of a changing table, having not having to just put them on the floor or the couch, whatever. I just loved having one station to take them and change them and everything was where I needed it. And it was just really great. So I said, we don't need like a crib and all those things, but we do need a changing table because we will have her here so he is building me one he's actually finished except one that's why we got that one piece of wood once he puts that piece on then i'll be able to paint that and so i'm going to show you what that looks like and then um we're going to have i'm going to rearrange everything so let me just show you what i'm going to do this was like home decor but i have weeded through so much of it and gotten rid of a lot of it so all this stuff needs to be gone through and then my recliner's back there. I want to have him set that back up for me. And hopefully all this will be out of here. That is my plan so that we can walk through this again. And then over here we have an oil tank that is not going anywhere. It's just here. It's a huge, dumb oil tank. <laughs> over here we have some sheer panels. And behind that is some storage of mine and storage of Madison's. Just lots of stuff. So that's going to all be gone through. And then I have this cube storage organizer over here that's full of stuff. Stuff all on the top. I have over here just a bunch of pillows and some blankets in this corner then I have this big tall cabinet and a big uh, bookshelf over here and then over here I have my wrapping paper storage and that is full of cookie cutters and then over here on the wall I also have ribbons and like wrapping paper over there and then my paints and my Cricut mats right here and then this is my desk obviously so Marion built me this and we put this I had him build it to where we could put this on the end. So I still love my desk. And my desk is in the center of the room because that's where the light is. So it, that's going to change though because I uh, bought some other lights that I'm hoping will work. But some of the things I picked up, obviously these, well I found this rug at Ross. I think it's like a 5 by 7 maybe a little bit bigger, but it's kind of like a dusty rose kind of lavender color. So I bought these 
bins on Amazon hoping that they were close enough of a match. They're close enough. They're not exactly, but they were not my favorite, but I got them because I thought that they would match the closest. So those I only got, it was a three pack. I'll link these down in, these will be in my Amazon shop, but I'm going to put them in this cube organizer. Not exactly sure how the placement of everything's going to go, but I also got some of this lavender, dreamy lavender paint because I'm going to be painting this chair, this pink color, lavender color. And then I have a lamp that I might also, I just need to find a lamp sh shade for it. I don't know for sure that I want a lamp down here, but we'll see. I might. And then I got these, just got these at Hobby Lobby, just some pretty flowers. I picked up these lights. They're, ki they're LED, so they're kind of strange to kind of mess with your eyes but i thought these would be pretty across the ceiling because we don't have lights there's dark corners in here and so having lights across the ceiling would, would help i think um then i just got this at walmart for a dollar thought it was pretty i might put some flowers in it i've also got these are not for this project but how pretty are these i got these at walmart the other day they're the pioneer woman and i just thought they they were the prettiest like for this would work for christmas or fourth of july or valentine's this would work for fall or spring this would be good for july 4th i just thought that they were really nice quality and i loved the colors so i also have three of these bins they're storage like you know collapsible storage containers that's what i'm going to probably put in the corner over here with all my pillows in so i got three of those from timu and then i also got this i picked up from hobby lobby because i'm going to use my cricut to make some labels with this because this is the color this kind of lavender color and then i got this from amazon so will be linked in my amazon anything i got from amazon is linked in my shop but it's just a queen size sheet and it was twenty dollars and it is so beautiful i Think it is so beautiful i was i typed in like floral flat sheet that's what i wanted because for the price you could get fabric but it would be way more expensive so when you just get a sheet it works perfectly so my intention is to hang this up here where the sheer curtains are i, I think i'm going to replace it with that i thought about putting it over here but i don't know yet but i think it's going to go right there and I'm replace those i also have that big piece of pink fabric Mary Madison used to use that so when she was down here so anyways I have all this stuff all this space I need to get it cleared out I need to oh I'm going to show you the changing table too and then I'm what I have to do is declutter mainly and then uh figure out like the placement of everything how everything's going to work because we're going to be babysitting my my granddaughter but we're also going to need to like have a place to store her things because as she gets older it's going to be more things you know there's like baby equipment and plaque and plays and things like that and i don't have any extra room upstairs so when she's not here i need a place to bring them and you know store them so that's what i'm going to do down here so it's going to be a multi-purpose room but it's going to be plenty big enough because my desk is what I mainly use and I'll still have room for that. But I'm gonna take you over here and show you the changing table that Marion made. It's so nice. I didn't tell him what I wanted. I just asked him if he could build me a changing table because I knew I was gonna need one. The lighting is terrible down here. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it's not completely finished, but it is almost finished. Like I said, we should put this piece of wood right here. It's gonna be kind of like the wipes and diapers will be stored right there. But it's a got three or two shelves and then this is where the baby lays and we did buy it's not in here but we did buy one of those pad change in pads and then i haven't ordered them yet but i'm going to order some of the covers for it but I, well they're home and i am are y'all hungry yes uh, they're always hungry i'm so full i'm so full i'm gonna go ahead and make this is for me. yes that's for you and also your game you're welcome i'm gonna make this for them for dessert because it's fun we probably watch a movie and i'm gonna make this for me with some lily's chocolate chips because I want to resist the temptation and if I don't have something for me I will eat this so and this is really good I tried it with the Lily's mint chocolate chips and I did not like it I cannot recommend that but just the regular chocolate chips it's really good I actually have actually what I might do whoops wrong one what I might do I have had this in here forever maybe I'll use this I've not used it yet but maybe I'll use this instead of chocolate chips these are the these are the ones that I did not like at all but I do have the, the regular ones are really good in it. But I think instead of that, it, I am going to use icing. I love icing. It's my weakness. But I won't put any icing on theirs. They don't like icing. And this is cookie and brownie mixed together. So that's perfect for them. I also got my strawberries in here soaking in some vinegar and water.
Okay, the neighbor's kids are outside, and they're so loud. So loud. We got new neighbors about a month ago, and they have a bunch of little kids sometimes. They're not there all the time, but they're out there playing football, I think. So as soon as I opened my door, <laughs> they all came out. So I might have to shut that. But Marion and Jackson are playing his new Monopoly, Star Wars Monopoly, I think. I go first. Oh, of course you do. Jackson kind of collects no, no, Monopoly you know. games. He has all different kinds. He loves Monopoly and he's so good at it. Marion is so patient to play with him because it can take hours. I've done it with him. It takes hours. But I'm going to make that they are hungry. I'm so so not hungry. But I bought this stew meat at Walmart. Did I show you? I showed you this in my grocery haul, I think. <laughs> um, I'm just going to put that in the air fryer, actually. I've done it before in the air fryer and it turned out great. And I'm going to just put some of this Kinder's buttery garlic salt on it. Hopefully it will be good. Just put them in the air fryer and then I'll make probably a salad. Marion can put his on a salad. Jackson will probably just eat the meat because that's what he loves. So, and then the brownies, the brownie cookie bar will be for dessert. But I don't know if I'm going to eat anything. If I do, it'll be later. I might make me a salad. We'll see. So I added some olive oil and some of that and stirred it really good. It's kind of full, but that will, hopefully that will turn out good. I'll do it like 10 minutes. It's at like 350. I'll do it for 10 minutes and then stir it and see. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I'll let you know. walked by with the dog. Hey, stop it. Too noisy. You're too noisy. Oh, my back hurts. I need to sit. Move over. You got miss, you're missing out my pillow. I know. I know, sweet girl. I know. Why she feels so good? I think so too, Clyde, huh? Till they bark and scare you inside. All right, so it's been 10 minutes smells really good so I'm just gonna mix it up do it for another 10 it's probably it Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's a good thing I have this because that is so tempting. <laughs> but this with some icing will be so delicious. And hopefully I can resist it. But wow, that looks amazing. I made Marion a salad. And I made Jackson a teeny tiny one. He doesn't really like it, but he's going to yes. try it. So he's probably just going to have the steak. And I'll put the steak on top of his salad. And I don't know if I'll eat anything. Probably not. Probably just dessert. That looks so good, actually. <laughs> so good. Yes. Can I just provoke this card? I didn't have any properties. I pick what I have and I pick there. Jackson says he doesn't want to talk about it, but all those blue. There, Marion's. That never happens. It's n this never happens. <laughs> Jackson always. Jackson, you don't have any red ones out here? No, he took them all. What? That wasn't very nice. Well, it's after seven, and I've done nothing downstairs, so 
I'm thinking this day is probably not gonna happen. <laughs> it's probably gonna be tomorrow, but it's gonna be really nice tomorrow and I wanted to go to this park and work on soccer with Jackson, but I have to just fit it all in, but I'm just, I'm not really feeling it today, but I will get it done in this video, so. So I got some editing done. I just tasted that sugar-free icing. I <laughs> hope it's not on my mouth. I got some editing done. I'm trying to get a video up for you guys, which for me is, tomorrow is Sunday. I'm trying to have a video up then. I didn't get it up for today, so. I also noticed on my YouTube analytics that Sunday morning is probably when most of my viewers are on watching YouTube, so I thought I would try a Sunday upload. We'll see. But that means I need to work on it probably a good hour and a half still tonight. So uh, we're gonna have some brownies though and watch a movie, try to find something to watch. Jackson, who won game two? Mary Marion won the first one, so Jackson of course wanted a rematch because he can't he can't he's not okay with that. So Jackson won the second one. So it is Sunday afternoon now. We just got back from church. My cat is laying right where I need to be standing. Um, we just got back from church and lunch and are you literally going to wear that to go play soccer? You're not going to be freezing? No. Um, anyways, we are home now. We went to lunch, church, all that. Um, I actually got to wear a dress today because it's been, it was warm enough to wear a dress, like a summery, it's like a sleeveless, but put a cardigan over it, but it was so nice. I haven't been able to wear a dress in months and months and months. Uh, let me let the dogs in. I'll get your bike. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, it is a beautiful day. It's gonna be 75 and it's sunny. It's a little bit little bit cool still, but like it's gonna warm up some. But we stopped at Ollie's on the way home and I thought I got a few books for Paisley. Like I wanted to get some books to put downstairs like on her changing table. I don't know, I, I always read to my babies when they were like newborn on and I thought it'd be nice to have some books so I could start reading to her. I um, mean, always is the best place to find books. They are so, so, so inexpensive. Um, but we also picked up a few things. Jackson found these fruit punch icy slushes. We buy the cherry ones at Walmart. They have blue raspberry and cherry, but I'm not seeing these fruit punch flavors. So they were 89 cents. You just put them in the freezer and contains no fruit juice. That's fun. <laughs> Um, you just put them in the freezer and they freeze and it's the icy brand so it's the best. Uh, they also have these big, this is like a bigger kind of oversized bag, sorry this lighting, um, of goldfish, the parmesan for $1.49. That's a good deal. Jackson loves the parmesan. And then I got the 25% less sugar chewy granola, chocolate chip granola bars. This is a $1.59 so I'll just put this in his snack box. But I'll show you the books I got real quick. This is was $1.99 and it's one of those black and white ones, which is really good for infants, you know. So it's just called Faces. Um, I got this one was $2.99. It's Bunny and Friends. And it's it's like the touch and feel, which I think is so fun for little kids. This one's called A Little Bit of Sunshine and it was $2.29. This one was probably my favorite. It's 101 Things I Love. And this one was $2.99 and it has like the real pictures. I love when they have real pictures. Like, I love the farm. I love the garden. I love bath time. I love play time. Um, and then this one retails for $5.99. I got it for $1.99. It's called The Princess Fairy, A Magical Story to Share. I just thought that would be cute. Got a few books to start our collection because she's got lots of books at her house and toys. But we're going to need some here too. So, I'm going to go change because we are gonna go play soccer at the park, do a little practicing. Jackson is the goalie, so we're gonna let him be the goalie. Marion and I will be the players. <laughs> I wonder if uh, we can keep up with him. Last yeah. time I played soccer with him for like 20 minutes, I was sore for a solid week, so, <laughs> but it's good for me, so. But we do have so much to do downstairs, so I wanna go. It's two o'clock already, so probably won't get started till about three, and I've got so much laundry. Um, but you know, this, this is more important. So we're going to go out, do that for a little while. I got a sink full of dishes, laundry like crazy, and yeah, lots to do. So I'm going to go change and we're going to head to the park. Look at this beautiful day. This is where Elena went to middle school and played soccer. And then right over, and Madison went to middle school. And then this is where Elena and Madison both went to elementary school. This is a track where I've done couch to 5k a few times 
all during quarantine. This is where we came <laughs> all the time. Yeah, this is where they do track meets, but we're gonna practice some soccer. Jackson's um, gonna be goalie. He is goalie for his team, so he's gonna he's gonna be goalie, and we're gonna probably get really tired <laughs> really fast. Soccer is hard work, hard hard work. Look at this beautiful green grass. Oh, love it. Okay, all I can say is we are old and we are out of shape. Soccer, and soccer is hard, hard, hard. I don't have those. We played soccer for like a half hour uh, and they do 30 minutes and then they do a, like eight minute break and 30 more minutes and they don't stop. I don't know how they do it. I mean, I know I'm not 14, but. <laughs> how are you feeling, Miriam? I'm feeling great. <laughs> it's a good workout. It's a good workout. I, oh, my battery's flashing. Had my Fitbit on, said I got like 50 minutes of cardio. So. Um, but you work out all the time, so you're fine. You're good. You're good. Um, but I'm procrastinating. It's like f almost four o'clock and I haven't done anything. <laughs> it's four o'clock on Sunday and I haven't even started on the basement. <gasps> I'm going to go down there. Were you sanding the um, baby changing table? Yeah. So Marion said he will paint. Oh, I need to get the chair out and paint it. Marion said he would paint the changing table for me. For us. <laughs> I have to decide what color and then I'm going to take my chair outside and paint that and while that's drying I'm going to start going through the stuff in the basement. All right so the neighbor's dog is barking and probably will the whole time <laughs> but this is my black chair that I use down there in my craft room. It's like a high chair and it looks out here like it was painted. It was brown then it was black so yeah you can see where it's coming off but I'm going to paint it this dreamy lavender. This is not uh What's it called? Chalk paint. This is just gloss paint. So, but it's paint and primer and I got two cans. Hopefully that will be enough. I apologize for the lighting down here it's just the basement so but once I hang up some these string lights maybe it will be a little different the lighting will be more white um, I'm gonna start just like going through everything but I'm probably not gonna just film that I have you know papers and stuff there is this big pile all of this I want to go and of course all of this and all of this <laughs> and then all of this also that's my Christmas tree Okay, it's been a good hour, I would say. Almost an hour. He's cutting, but I thought I'd show you <laughs> what this place looks like. I just kind of like pulled everything out. It's way more than I thought. I did already take one big load out to the trash can outside, but this is like some stuff for Goodwill so far. This is what this looks like. I just have different 
different piles everywhere, everywhere. So, it's a lot. It is a whole, whole, whole lot of stuff. So I had to take a quick break to make dinner. I made grilled, grilled ham and cheese with tomato. I had the rest of that boar's head turkey with mine. Um, carrots, grapes, just super easy and quick because I've got so much to still do. It's 6.15, got laundry going. Still trying to get everything done. All right, we ate dinner and I cleaned the kitchen because when I've got a project going on, I cannot have the whole rest of the house be in disarray. I mean, it's going to happen. It's inevitable, but if I can keep some of it under control. All right, I'm back downstairs. I'm going to try to tackle this corner and all of this. This is like all my party bags and tissue paper, and I literally have bags from when I had my baby shower with Jackson who is going to be 15 this summer so it is time to let some of this go I do not need all of these so I'm just going to go through declutter and organize I'm going to use the bins these bins not bins you know these little like fabric bags from Timu to put my pillows and stuff in hopefully get a little more organized
that I'm not sure I want to like shove things back in the corner I have to move some of the furniture around a little bit but I did fit these and these are definitely not the best quality but they're hopefully for what I need them for they're gonna work fine and it'll keep things you know up off the carpet off the floor but I got these bins you know from Amazon and I wasn't sure what I was gonna put in them they are creased they said you can use a steamer to get those out so I need to borrow my girls have steamers I think um, but I'm gonna put some of the ribbon that I'm gonna keep in one of these and that'll be in this I'm not keeping all of this though this is kind of ridiculous and I very rarely even you know reach for this stuff so I'm only gonna keep the ones that I know I'll use the rest are gonna go either in the trash or to donate actually I think I'm gonna just stick them in here for now <laughs> day Clyde is begging to go out but I'm about to leave I can't let you out until I get home sweet boy I'm gonna go ahead and take this load all of these to Goodwill just to get them out of the basement I need more room <laughs> but I'm sure I'm gonna have more to take I just want to go, go ahead and get the get rid of this all right it is another day it's actually Tuesday I have not had a chance to come down here and work on this but I am down here today and I am determined to get it finished. So we have made some changes. I'm gonna show you, I did them off camera just because I was trying to figure everything out. But there's a lot of things that we're gonna get done tonight, hopefully. I say we, cause um, I asked Marion to help me. Got these little hooks and we're gonna have to screw these into the ceiling, the beams, because I'm gonna hang some, my lights up here. So I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna show you like the layout so there's the change of table looks so professional like we just bought it <laughs> um, we have the we bought one of these pads but I have not been able to find like the covers anywhere in town so I've got some in my Amazon cart I've just got to order those and I asked him to make this little area right here so we can you know put ointment or diapers or whatever there Put some wipes there i still got to figure out how, how everything is going to go and the same with this and then over here's the recliner it's still not put together there's my rug i'm going to hang the sheet up here and i need to just wipe all this down and organize it that is still trash but i just take a big load to goodwill and i put those over there for now it's just going to have to stay there and then my desk is right here and then my i have just a few things stored here and then over here is my bags and tissue paper. Every guy I met we fell in love at a bad time Getting insecure questioning myself on the way down Now I'm so tired of
is finished oh hallelujah so happy to have this finished thought I'd just tell you a couple things that I might get questions about as I go got the bins on Amazon these um, flowers are in uh, one of my grandma's glass vases that I had and I didn't know what to do with it and it fits perfectly I don't know that this is gonna stay this way like I was saying but um, this is like my sewing stuff this is empty maybe we could put blankets or toys or something in it this is kind of like tools that I use like my wire cutters and stuff that's empty just have a few books and I know we'll get a whole lot more and this is empty right now like I said we have to get the cover for this we'll get some diapers and all that but this is kind of like you know the baby section ish and then this section over here would be like my craft section with my desk and I love those sheets I love the way that looks so much better than than the other way because it hides it. I do need to still have Madison go through her stuff back there, but I have my recliner set up because you never know when you might want to just, you know, sit down and I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Like I said, I'm going to be babysitting Paisley some, so I just wanted to, I kept my recliner because I wanted to put it down here. I thought it'd be, thought it'd be nice down here and the trash is still there, but there's my desk with my chair painted so this is like my craft section over here and or I don't craft so much really but these are things that we need to get to like glue and tape glue sticks staples scissors tacks things like that and in here this is empty but this has some some party supplies that I kept ribbons and a few things there that I need to keep and that's just extra my sewing machine paints and then all these boxes, which, like I said, I wanted to change them. But if I find some at Hobby Lobby that are pretty and match, I'll probably change them out when they're on sale. And then just scissors, pencils, things like that. And then this is full of Cricut paper and scrapbook paper. And then over here is where I keep my Cricut and all the Cricut supplies, the tools and stuff. And there's just some printer paper down there. And then our printers over here we just keep it down here so so make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe if you are not already if you want to see more little you know budget makeovers things like that hopefully we'll have some more coming up this year but i love you all i appreciate you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye bye